Imagine standing before a structure older than the Egyptian pyramids, shrouded in mystery and steeped in ancient lore. Welcome to Newgrange, County Meath, Ireland. As we delve into the enigma of Newgrange, we're traveling back in time, way back to around 3200 BC. This Neolithic monument, predating even Stonehenge and the Great Pyramids of Giza, is an extraordinary testament to the engineering prowess of our ancestors. But Newgrange isn't just old, it's a marvel of prehistoric architecture. Its massive circular mound, spanning over 80 meters in diameter, is ringed by 97 large stones, known as curbstones, each intricately carved with ancient Celtic art. And at the heart of this monument, lies a long narrow passage leading to a cruciform chamber, a sacred space that once served as a tomb, or perhaps a temple. But the real mystery of Newgrange lies not within its walls, but in its alignment with the cosmos. Every year, at the dawn of the winter solstice, something magical happens. As the first rays of the rising sun pierce the cold winter sky, they perfectly align with the monument's passageway, illuminating the inner chamber with a warm, golden light. This ethereal spectacle lasts for just 17 minutes, but its significance echoes through the millennia. Was Newgrange a calendar of sorts, marking the turning of the seasons, or a spiritual gateway aligning the living with the celestial bodies? We may never know. What we do know is that this ancient monument with its celestial alignment highlights the ingenuity and spiritual depth of the people who built it. Newgrange continues to mystify and captivate us, a silent sentinel bearing witness to the passage of time. It's a timeless testament to human curiosity, a tangible connection to our distant past, and a stark reminder of the enigma that is our history. Newgrange, a fascinating testament to Ireland's prehistoric past, leaves us with more questions than answers. From a monument of the dead to a seat of kings, we journey to the Hill of Tara, the ancient ceremonial and mythical capital of Ireland. This sacred hill, located in County Meath, transcends time, bearing witness to the rise and fall of countless generations. Right at the heart of the Irish countryside, the Hill of Tara served as a coronation place for pre-Christian kings of Ireland. It was more than just a physical seat of power, it was a symbolic throne, a nexus of spiritual and political energy. Each king, upon his inauguration, was said to have wed the goddess of the land, thereby ensuring fertility and prosperity for his reign and his people. But the Hill of Tara is not only known for its royal history, it also houses a wealth of myths and legends, each more fascinating than the last. Among these is the tale of the Stone of Destiny, also known as the Lea Fail. This ancient standing stone was believed to possess a unique power, it would roar with joy when the rightful king touched it. This mystical stone shrouded in mystery is still standing to this day, a silent testament to Ireland's rich and vibrant past. Yet, the Hill of Tara is more than just a relic of the past. It is a living, breathing entity. Just as it has for thousands of years, it continues to draw people from all walks of life, each seeking their own connection to this ancient and sacred place. Some come to marvel at the archaeological treasures it holds, others to experience the spiritual energy it radiates, and still others to simply bask in the tranquility and beauty of its surroundings. The Hill of Tara, a silent witness to Ireland's rich history, continues to echo tales of power and legend. As we leave this sacred hill, we carry with us its stories, its spirit, and a deeper appreciation for Ireland's captivating past. Next we traverse to the Giant's Causeway, a place where geology and mythology intertwine. This extraordinary coastal attraction, located in County Antrim, is a marvel of nature and legend. Thousands of interlocking basalt columns, the result of an ancient volcanic eruption, stretch out like a grand staircase disappearing into the sea. But there's more to the Giant's Causeway than its unique geological formations. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is steeped in fascinating folklore. Every crevice and crack whispers a tale, but the most famous of all is that of the Irish giant, Finn McCool. Legend has it that Finn, an enormous and quick-witted warrior, built the causeway to reach Scotland, challenging his Scottish counterpart to a duel. Some versions of the tale say Finn disguised himself as a baby to trick his opponent, while others claim he simply outmatched him in strength. Either way, the story paints a vivid picture of a time when giants roamed the earth, a time when the lines between reality and mythology were blurred. This is the magic of the giant's causeway. It's not just about the awe-inspiring natural beauty but the stories that have been passed down through generations, adding a layer of intrigue and mystery to the landscape. 
Whether it's the rhythmic patterns in the stones or the echo of ancient tales in the wind, the causeway invites you to step into a world where the unbelievable seems real. So, was it a volcanic eruption or a giant's handiwork that created the causeway? Perhaps it doesn't matter. The real allure lies in the intersection of fact and fiction, in the wonder of exploring a place where scientific explanation and mythological tale coexist. The giant's causeway, a place where legends are etched in stone, challenges our understanding of nature and myth. It's a testament to the power of storytelling, an invitation to let our imagination soar, and a reminder that sometimes, the most fascinating stories, are the ones we can't quite explain. Prepare to step into the eerie halls of Leap Castle, reputed to be one of the most haunted places in Ireland. Nestled in the heart of County Offaly, this ancient stronghold carries with it tales of bloodshed, treachery, and chilling spectral presences that have echoed down the centuries. Leap Castle's history is steeped in blood and violence. Built by the O'Bannon clan in the 13th century, it has been the stage for a series of gruesome events. Among the most infamous is the tale of a brutal fratricide committed in the castle's chapel, forever branding it as the Bloody Chapel. Legend tells us that one O'Bannon brother, a priest, was in the midst of conducting mass when his rival sibling stormed in, plunging his sword into him and causing him to die before the very altar. Since then, the chapel has been a hotspot of paranormal activity, with numerous accounts of apparitions and unexplained phenomena. Yet, the Bloody Chapel isn't the only source of fear within Leap Castle's ancient walls. The castle is said to be home to a terrifying entity known as the Elemental. This chilling spirit, described by some as a hulking, shadowy figure with a decomposing face, is believed to bring with it a palpable sense of dread and a foul stench reminiscent of sulfur and rotting flesh. Many visitors have reported encounters with the Elemental, their experiences varying from an uneasy feeling of being watched to full-blown sightings of the ghostly apparition. Leap Castle's spectral inhabitants aren't limited to the bloody chapel and the Elemental though. Over the years, numerous other spirits have been reported throughout the castle, from the ghost of a little girl who fell from the battlements to the phantoms of long-dead soldiers, their spectral forms forever trapped within the fortress. Leap Castle, a chilling reminder of Ireland's turbulent past, leaves an indelible impression on our minds. Its dark history and the countless tales of hauntings that surround it, make it a must-visit for any brave soul fascinated by the paranormal and the rich, often brutal history of Ireland. We now journey back in time to the enigmatic Poolnabrone Dolmen, a portal tomb that whispers tales of the ancient dead. Located in the Burren, County Clare, the Poolnabrone Dolmen is more than just a striking landmark. This prehistoric monument dating back over 5,000 years to the Neolithic period is a silent testament to the lives of those who walked the earth before us. The dolmen, a term derived from the Breton language meaning stone table, is a type of single-chamber megalithic tomb. The Poolnabrone dolmen, with its giant capstone balanced precariously on two portal stones, is an architectural marvel of its time, showcasing the ingenuity of our ancestors. Excavations in the 80s revealed that this site was a communal burial ground, with the remains of at least 22 individuals found interred within its chamber. These were not just any individuals, but people of importance, as indicated by the array of artifacts found alongside them, including pottery, stone tools and personal ornaments. These findings offer a fascinating glimpse into the lives of the Neolithic people. They were farmers and herders but also skilled artisans who crafted tools and jewelry with remarkable precision. They were a society that valued community, as evidenced by the collective burial practices. But more importantly, they were a people who respected their dead, providing them with grave goods for the afterlife. The Pulnebrone Dolmen is more than a historical monument, it's a bridge to our past, a window into an era when life was simpler, yet in many ways just as complex as today. It's a journey into a time when our ancestors, though long gone, were just as human as we are, with hopes, dreams, and fears just like ours. As we stand before this ancient portal tomb, we are reminded of the fleeting nature of life and the enduring legacy of humanity. The stones bear silent testimony to the lives that were, the lives that are, and the lives that will be. The Pulnebrone Dolmen, a poignant reminder of our mortal existence, continues to hold a mirror to our past. From the realms of the dead, we step into the embrace of nature at the Wicklow Mountains National Park. Imagine a place where the air is as crisp as the first bite of an apple, and as clean as a freshly laundered white shirt. 
where the peace and tranquility are only interrupted by the playful chirps of birds and the distant rush of a waterfall. This is the Wicklow Mountains National Park, a sanctuary where the wild inhabitants of Ireland find refuge and the ancient history of the land stands still, preserved for all to see. Covering over 20,000 hectares, this vast expanse of land is home to an array of wildlife. From the red deer grazing in the meadows to the elusive otters that frolic in the rivers, life thrives in every corner. But it's not just the wildlife that makes this place special. The park is a living testament to Ireland's rich history. Tucked away within this natural haven lies the ancient monastic city of Glendalough. Founded by St. Kevin in the 6th century, Glendalough, meaning Valley of Two Lakes, is a place that echoes with the whispers of Ireland's early Christian past. The round tower, built of mica slate interspersed with granite, stretches skyward, a beacon for pilgrims over the centuries. The stone churches with their weathered faces speak of a time when faith and nature lived in harmony. The park's beauty changes with the seasons. In spring, the hillsides blush with the pink hue of blooming heather, while in autumn the trees throw a fiery spectacle, their leaves turning into shades of gold and crimson. In winter, the mountains wear a blanket of snow, transforming the park into a winter wonderland, while the summer sun brings out the vibrant greens of the grasslands. The Wicklow Mountains National Park, with its diverse wildlife and historical sites, is a place that intertwines the past with the present, a treasure trove of Irish heritage. It's a place where nature and history coexist, untouched by the hands of time. The Wicklow Mountains National Park, a testament to Ireland's natural and cultural heritage leaves us in awe of its timeless beauty. Ever wondered about the secret to eloquence? Perhaps it lies within the walls of Blarney Castle. Tucked away in the lush landscapes of County Cork, this historic stronghold has been standing tall since the early 13th century. But it's not merely the castle's medieval architecture that draws visitors from afar. What truly sets it apart is a block of limestone built into the battlements, better known as the Blarney Stone. Legend has it that kissing the Blarney Stone endows the kisser with the gift of eloquence, or as the Irish put it, the gift of the gab. This tradition of puckering up to a piece of rock may seem peculiar, but it has been part of Irish folklore for centuries. The origins of this ritual are shrouded in mystery with tales ranging from the stone being a magical relic of the Druids, to it being the biblical Jacob's pillow brought to Ireland by the prophet Jeremiah. The act of kissing the stone is an experience in itself. One must lean over backwards on the parapet's edge, demonstrating a fair bit of courage and flexibility. Some might argue that the real gift acquired here is not eloquence, but a sense of adventure and a story to tell. But the Blarney Stone is not the castle's only allure. The estate is also home to lush gardens, mysterious underground caves, and the enchanting Blarney House. The allure of the castle goes well beyond its stone walls and into the rich tapestry of history, myth, and nature that surrounds it. Blarney Castle is more than just a monument or a tourist attraction. It's a testament to Ireland's rich cultural heritage, a symbol of its timeless folklore, and a beacon for those in pursuit of the elusive gift of eloquence. Whether you come for the history, the beauty, or the chance to acquire a silver tongue, you're bound to leave with a piece of Ireland in your heart. Blarney Castle, a fortress of folklore, continues to enchant with its enduring charm. Let's journey to the heart of Ireland, to the hill of Wiesnick, the mythical navel of the country. Nestled in the lush landscapes of County Westmeath, this ancient hill bears more than the weight of the earth upon its shoulders. It carries centuries of myth, legend, and spiritual significance, making it a captivating chapter in Ireland's rich tapestry of history. The hill of Uisnick is deeply rooted in Irish mythology. It's considered the meeting point of Ireland's five provinces, a symbolic center where earth and sky, past and present, myth and reality, all converge. This is a place of power, a place of kings, and a place of gods. One of the most significant events associated with the Hill of Wisnik is the Festival of Bealtaine. Celebrated at the beginning of May, Bealtaine marks the start of summer in the Celtic calendar. Fire, a key element of this festival, symbolizes purification and transition. Imagine the hill ablaze with the Bealtaine fire, a beacon of light piercing the darkness, signaling the victory of summer over winter. But what truly anchors the hill of Wisnik in the realm of the mythical is the legendary catstone. This massive limestone boulder is believed to be the burial place of the goddess Eriu, from whom Ireland takes its name. As the story goes, 
Eriu was one of three sisters who ruled Ireland, and after a great battle, it was her name that the island kept. The Catstone is her resting place, a tangible link between the land and its mythical past. Even today, the Hill of Wisnik captivates those who visit. It's a place that invites you to pause, to listen to the whispers of the wind and to feel the pulse of ancient Ireland beneath your feet. Here, mythology comes alive, and the boundary between the worldly and the divine becomes blurred. The Hill of Wisnik, a mythical beacon, continues to ignite our imagination. It is a testament to Ireland's enduring connection with its ancient past, a connection that remains as vibrant and as vital as the Emerald Hills themselves. Next we embark upon a journey along the Ring of Kerry, a scenic trail that is a feast for the eyes and the soul. Imagine a journey through time, tracing a path where the footprints of the ancient Celts still echo. This is the Ring of Kerry, a 111-mile circular route that encircles the Iveragh Peninsula in County Kerry, Ireland. With each twist and turn of the road, history unfolds, revealing a rich tapestry of culture, heritage, and natural beauty. As we meander through this stunning landscape we encounter echoes of the past, whispering tales of ancient kingdoms and legendary heroes. The trail is dotted with Iron Age forts and Ogham stones, their inscriptions bearing silent testament to a bygone era. Each landmark, each stone, each curve of the road has a tale to tell, if only we take the time to listen. But the Ring of Kerry is not just about history, it's a vibrant tapestry, woven with threads of culture and tradition. The lively towns and charming villages that punctuate the route are brimming with music, dance and folklore. These are places where the past and the present meld seamlessly, where age-old traditions are kept alive and celebrated with gusto. And then there's the breathtaking natural beauty of the Ring of Kerry. From rugged cliffs that plunge into the Atlantic Ocean to serene lakes nestled between towering mountains, the landscapes are as varied as they are stunning. It's a place where nature's grandeur is on full display, where every view could be a postcard, and where the air is filled with the scent of wildflowers and the sound of crashing waves. In this journey along the Ring of Kerry, we've traversed time and space, from the ancient past to the vibrant present, from the rugged coastline to the tranquil inland. We've discovered a place where history, culture, and nature intertwine, creating a unique and unforgettable experience. The Ring of Kerry, a picturesque tapestry of Ireland's past and present, leaves us with unforgettable memories. Finally, we step into the Connemara Bogs, a unique ecosystem preserving centuries of history. The Bogs, a landscape that seems to be frozen in time, hold a wealth of archaeological treasures. These waterlogged soils, with their low oxygen levels, provide the perfect conditions for preserving ancient relics and remains. Imagine a world where every step you take might lead to a discovery that could rewrite history. That's the magic of the Connemara Bogs. Let's talk about an extraordinary find that shook the archaeological world, the Connemara Man. Discovered in 2003, this 2,000-year-old human remains offered a glimpse into the Iron Age Ireland. The Connemara Man, preserved almost perfectly in the peat, was found with his clothes and personal belongings, giving us a snapshot of life from an era long past. But it's not just ancient humans that the bogs have preserved. From wooden artifacts to leather shoes, from weapons to ritual offerings, the bogs have yielded a diverse range of items. Each of these artifacts tells a story, a piece of the puzzle that is Ireland's rich and complex past. The Connemara bogs also offer a unique opportunity for scientists studying climate change. The layers of peat built up over centuries contain microscopic pollen grains, tiny insects, and plant fragments. These, like the artifacts, are perfectly preserved and provide a detailed record of past climates and environments. Preservation, in essence, is the heart of Connemara Bogs. It's about keeping the past alive, about understanding our history and heritage and passing it on to future generations. It's a testament to the fact that sometimes it's the quiet, unassuming places that hold the most profound secrets. The Connemara Bogs, a silent guardian of the past, continues to reveal Ireland's hidden history. These landscapes, rich in archaeological treasures and steeped in mystery, are an irreplaceable part of Ireland's cultural heritage. They remind us that history is not just about grand castles and epic battles, but also about the everyday lives of the people who came before us.